So here's how to back up a WordPress site using cPanel. Go to your website and then at the end put forward slash cPanel and it'll prompt you for a login. Uh, I've actually logged in already so here we are. The easiest thing to do instead of searching for what you need through all this stuff right in the find field here just type in back and that'll filter things out and go straight to the backup wizard. And in, you have a choice of two, backing up or restoring. So we're going to click on backup here. Now you can do a full backup of everything, but that's kind of a huge file. And uh, it, to restore that, actually, we, we'd have to delete your whole account and start it up from scratch. If you want to just do a backup of, of your content, you just click on home directory here and back up the files. It'll prompt you to save it to your hard drive somewhere and pick a place where you'll remember. So that's, that'll back up all the files. Now the next thing you want to do is back up your database and you have a choice of, probably you'll just have one database here. Um, but if you, a bit, it's safer to back them all up because it's a little hard to figure out which one is which. So just click on it and again, um, save it to the hard drive somewhere where it's secure. If you have more than one, back them both up just to be safe. Now, just to be super safe here, it's a good idea to have another backup of your database. And in the find field, just type in PHP, and we're going to go into PHP My Admin, which is another utility that allows you to kind of manipulate your database. Um, we're going to use it for backup purposes. I'm going to go to, uh, here again, there are two databases listed. You'll probably only have one, but do it for both. You click on the database, click on Export, and then just go with all the defaults and click on go. And again, it'll prompt you to save the file to your hard drive somewhere. And then just go and do that same thing for your other database. Switch to the other database, click on export, click on go and save it to your hard drive. But again, more than likely you'll only have the one. And then you've got a copy of all the files and you'll have two backups, one using cPanel's backup, one using PHP My Admin. You'll have two backups of your database, which is extra safe.